Welcome to the Pilates Show Monday, where we take our Pilates brain and body out of the studio and into the real world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're looking at cupping in the bathtub or in the shower. All right, so I have, you can get all sorts of sized silicone cups, and you can do the whole body. And you could use just oil with these on your body, but the best thing to do, and kind of the cleanest way to do it, is when you're in the shower, when you're in the bathtub, you can do your own fascial release with the cups. So you just have to get the, the right kind of soap and put it on whatever area of the body you want to release. And depending on the area of the body, you're going to have to have a different size cup. So if I were to be doing my lower leg, I would need a much smaller cup. But I'm going to use this one for my upper thigh. And I'm going to create suction. So that's really attractive, right? But it's, it's good. And then I want to slide this tissue. And I mean, as you all can see, this is really good for my IT band. Right? And then I can also notice if there are places of resistance, which I'm feeling up here. So I can let it go and reattach it and do a little bit more. I can also let it sit there for a moment um, just to kind of create some circulation and to, to get that layer kind of unstuck if I feel like there's a little bit more resistance there. And then after, just do a little bit of flossing, maybe a few inches up or down, really to, um, to just pay attention to that area a little bit more. All right. So you can do this um, a few times a day. You can do it every day, no harm. And you'll notice with the consistency of it that you start to feel uh, a lot better. Your, your muscles seem to, to work more in sync. You have less tension, less pain. Uh, but it does take consistency. So you have to do it and consistently do it, especially in the area that you're concentrating on, for at least a few weeks. But you'll definitely notice differences. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear from you. Please comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time and never stop learning.